I am a board certified geriatric physical therapist by the American Board of Physical Therapy Specialties and I also have a background in sports medicine. I have been practicing physical therapy many years. Uh, my first job was in the early 1980s and primarily worked in a rehab facility at a local community hospital. I'm currently the special assistant to the president at Utica College and for the past three years served as the dean of the School of Health Professions and Education. I actually um, have taught most of the courses in the program. I currently teach the first course, which is a foundations course, and I also um, am instrumental in teaching the capstone course, which is the final course in the program that includes many of the different options that students can take, such as geriatrics, pediatrics, and uh, advanced pharmacology. A lot of the students choose to come back for the post-professional program because it's a personal achievement, a personal goal. Um, many see the need to improve their practice and really with healthcare cost changing over the years and in the future we're not sure what healthcare is going to look like they want to be the best informed practitioner and the choice practitioner for patients to come to for managing their care. Well, the residency program provides uh, multiple opportunities for students entering the program to learn who their faculty are, to meet them, to interact with them, and then to really begin to meld um, relationships with individuals in their classes. Those students will move together typically as a cohort, so they have um, developed relationships that move beyond this program into their professional careers. Um, coming from a background in adult education, I understand the importance of students as adult learners getting to know each other and the residency where they are face to face and in person and meeting each other and their faculty, it gives them a really nice opportunity to make that social connection and that puts them in a really good place to begin to work in an online discussion board from that point on. We find is a great way for students to not only come and learn the different management system that we have for the online program, but also to network with one another, make great connections with faculty and with staff, and to just get that real solid base to come into the program that they can transition and take right through to the end of the program. Really a, a positive benefit for students. I think our program has phenomenal faculty members who are so dedicated to not only the profession, but the premise of an online program. We have very high expectations, very high standards for our profession, and, and we have all been on board for a number of years um, seeing this profession move forward. And the real focus of this is to tap into the adult learner, their strengths as adult learners, but more importantly to allow them to immediately apply the education information they're learning to clinical practice, and that's the beauty of this program. Um, as a faculty member in the entry level program, I had the opportunity to actually get my DPT degree and what better place to get it than where I'm working and it's allowed me to see the program as it was when I finished in 2007 and then to kind of modify the program as the changing needs of the climate of physical therapy. It's been a great opportunity to be able to do that and see it kind of go through, through fruition. Utica College uh, provides an outstanding opportunity for individuals to move to the new level where our profession is moving. We take uh, practicing clinicians and provide them with content expertise in the faculty teaching in the program and then help them to apply this back to their clinical practice. 